welcome back to H&H Productions. I'm Haven, and today I'm going to be reviewing, reviewing the Maleficent 2 dolls, um, Mistress of Evil, Maleficent, and Aurora. So, I just took them out of the box this morning. So, um, yeah, they just arrived. It was a Christmas present for me, and we are going to find out today if they were worth the money and if they are good. So... First, let's review Maleficent. So she has these really nice, sturdy black wings, which are beautiful. They even have like the little detail of all the feathers, which is in the movie. And I don't know if you know this, but Maleficent is my favorite movie. So she even has these horns, which are very sturdy. You can like lift her up by them. Maybe not try that. Um, because these dolls are actually quite expensive. But we're going to find out if they are worth the money today. So, this dress is beautiful. And so are her boots. Not trying to show anything up there. but her Look at her boots. They're just real nice. They have little heels on them. They're black. They have like laces and buttons and stuff. Um, she has like this little thing like she has in the movie down it and then just this little white stuff up here like in the movie and my well my favorite part about this doll is either the horns or the wings probably but like look at her face it's so much like angelina jolie like it has her cheekbones it has her lips and it has maleficent's eyes like in the movie so like how did they make the cheekbones and the lips that much like her that's crazy all right so here is aurora her dress is beautiful and um they didn't do as good of a job on l fanning's face i think but they still did a pretty good job so um they like it kind of looks it, it looks pretty much like her face and like face isn't like that I don't know, I don't know. Just, I think they did a pretty good job on her face, even though it's not as good as they did on Angelina Jolie. But I think they did a pretty good job. So, like, look at this dress. It is beautiful. So, it has all of this lace and flowering. Oh, sorry about that. The light shut off. Okay, um... So, they have, like, the light pink and the dark pink, like, in the movie. I can't remember if this was, like, a nightgown or her dress all throughout. But it's just really, really nice. All right, so her hair is just curled perfectly. And look at these little flowers on each side of her hair. It's beautiful. And look at her gold shoes. They're so, so pretty. They even have, like, this little... It feels like velvety soft right here. And it's just really pretty. They even have like this little collar. And her lipstick, her lip gloss is so light. It's really pretty. So, um, yeah. These are, I know they're off eBay and Amazon. We got this off eBay. Um... So, they are quite expensive, though, but I think they're definitely worth the money. And Maleficent, look, this is, like, soft, too, as you can tell. And she has, like, this lace here. The only thing I don't like about these dolls, which is, like, still fine, is, um, their, their outfits are, like, a, a lot bigger than, like, their arms, I guess. Like, it seems like two of them just fit in there, which it's fine because she's kind of like that in the movie where they're a little bit longer, but it's fine. I just really like these dolls. There's nothing I really don't like about them. So, um, yeah, I think they're definitely worth the money. Um, I'll put a link in the description box below for you to buy them. And thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video and bye.